gentlemen welcome to today's discussion today we'll be discussing on the camshaft of the engine and why the camshaft needs to be altered in its angle for the every time when the engine is reversed either from ahead to extern or from extern to ahead let us have a look at the angles at which the extens are taking place it is this f1 is the point at which the fuel is to be injected it is about say 4 to 5 degrees before the tdc and it keeps on going all the way up to about 10 degrees or 11 degrees 11 to 10 degrees 10 to 11 degrees after the tdc and at 110 degrees after the tdc the exhaust valve opens that is i will take poke eo and at the further travel of the piston downwards at about 140 degrees the scaven pores are opened that means the piston is now uncovering the scaven pores that means now the scaven air will go into the piston and drive away the exhaust gases as the exhaust valve is already open and this scavenger will be continued up to a one more angle that is symmetrical about the TDC because the scavenging takes place through the scavenge pores so it is the same angle this 140 degrees before the TDC up to this point this scavenge air goes and at about 110 degrees before the TDC of the this half this scavenge the scavenge air keeps on driving out the exhaust gases to the exhaust valve so at 110 degrees after the 110 degrees before the TDC it closes and again at from here the compression takes place up to position F1 at which the fuel is injected so this is the position of the crank and the piston this is F1 this is the position of the piston this is the angle of the crank shaft crank throw and here the position of the fuel pump barrel and plunger is given with respect to the this is the suction port at this point the suction port is being covered and thus the fuel is being injected to the cylinder and the injection of the fuel takes place all the way up to point number 2 point number 2 and that means what now that means the fuel pump plunger is at its topmost position at position 2 of the crank throw the plunger is at its topmost position that is let's say TDC of the let's say this is the TDC of the fuel cam 
Now, if we want to admit fuel, and from this position, if we in the reverse direction, if we keep on rotating the crank, the fuel pump barrel will the plunger will come down and at certain point at about position number 3 of the crank throw this barrel will, this plunger will come down and start to uncover the suction port as shown here it will start to uncover the suction port as shown here. So, that means if at this position, if this space was filled up with the fuel, now if we, if we want to rotate the engine in the reverse direction, this position will become the starting of the fuel injection. That means what? Now, position number 3 has become the starting of the fuel injection without the fuel cap position being altered. So, now the fuel will be injected at about, about position number 3, which is very dangerous. Say here. So this will be the new position in the reverse direction when the fuel is will be admitted into the cylinder without the fuel cam angle being altered. So in the reverse direction the fuel will be admitted as a much more before time a advanced time then which is suitable and it can be clearly seen that by the time the maximum pressure reaches in the cylinder it will be even before the TDC of the piston and instead of our intention to rotate the unit in the reverse direction it will now force this piston down back to the clockwise direction. So now the reversing will not take place. So because by the time the this fuel is being has continued to started to the fuel has now started to inject to be injected into the cylinder much before and the maximum pressure reaches even before the PDC. So instead of the crank going this way, the crank will be rotated in backward direction. That means the reversal of the engine cannot be possible. So now, what can be done? Because the reversal is not possible in this case without the cam being altered in its angular position. So what we saw is that the fuel injection is much earlier before the fuel cam being altered. That means in this situation what it means is that the plunger has to wait till this position. If the if in this situation without the fuel cam being turned, if we turn the engine in the reverse direction, this position becomes the starting point of the injection. So 
it is very much in advance so but the full injection is intended to be given at this point r point r here so it is clearly see from this point that the for the reverse rotation the fuel cam has to be retarded by this angle this angle fuel cam has to be retarded by this angle so that instead of number 3 the reverse in the reverse rotation of the engine the r becomes the position of the fuel injection it is about the same angle about 4 to 5 degrees before the tdc and the fuel will be continued to be injected to the point about this about this and again what we see is that at this point it becomes the tdc of the fuel cam so at about this point at about this point the plunger will be at its lowest position that means the say the plunger will uncover the suction port that means now if we rotate the engine in this direction reverse the engine then this point will become the point of injection of the fuel so again it needs it is similarly if we want to rotate the engine from head to stern or from stern now we want to reverse the engine from stern to head so in this condition the fuel should be injected at f1 so for the same situation from the stern to head this much angle this much angle of the fuel cam has to be retarded so that this is the tdc what is so is that either in the reversal from head to stern or from stern to head the fuel cam needs to be retarded by some angle so that is the reason that the fuel cam needs to be altered in its angular position for the reversal of the engine but for the exhaust valve cams what we saw is that exhaust valve opening is at 110 degrees and closing at 110 degrees after the before the tdc so it is symmetrical so the one cam is say if this is for the head this position becomes for the stern is for the x small cam Like this all can. It is done in various ways according to the engines in BMW engines. The individual fuel pump rollers are moved so that they change their angular positions in relation to the camshaft. and thus 
change their angular positions. But in the surgery engine, whole of the camshaft is rotated by means of a device, one more component called the lost motion clutch. So this is the reason why we have to alter the position of the fuel cam.